because I had to switch um, phones. I ran out of storage on there, so the quality on this phone is not that great. Um, I have my lap over here trying to light, light it up, but um, I was talking about the Kashi um, cinnamon French toast. And I was saying I didn't know whether it was gluten or not. And I wanted to show you guys the ingredients. Uh, Watch out. So if you can see like the ingredients. It says whole yellow flour. Corn bran. Bran what? Yeah, I'm trying to show them the ingredients. So I hope you guys were able to. To see that a little bit um, I don't have much space on this table I'm trying to put the things I've shut out the way but um, yeah I showed you this cereal too um, I picked up some granola um, this is kind the kind brand and I forgot to go get my receipt again uh, I'm sorry y'all but this stuff it, it wasn't uh, that much I think this might have been five dollars but it's raspberry and I really like raspberry, so I picked that one up. This one might have been five dollars, um, and it's a uh, eleven ounce. So this is gluten free, um, no non GMO, five super grains. So I tried to uh, stick with um, like gluten free stuff, and I have some more granola. This is from bare naked it says gluten free this is the cacao and cashew butter um uh, so yeah i got this this is a 11 ounce bag too this might have been between three four yes dollars i got this from jewels and i got the kind but target has both of these brands as well um uh, around the same price too what is it Okay, and my son's look, he <laughs> the cheetah cereal, he started eating some. I think he only liked the, the darker berry one though. Um because he's leaving a lighter berry one. It might be strawberry the lighter berry one. He's leaving that in his bowl and, and still asking for more of the red berry. So uh yeah, the kids might like this. If you pick this up and you have kids, then they may like one of the two flavors or both. Because he seems to like the uh, darker one. Um, what else? Um, I have. Oh, I have some more granola. I didn't. Let's see. This is Bakery of Maine. This is a cinnamon raisin granola. Um, it says fiber powder. So I picked that one up. Because um, I know I'm not getting enough fiber in my diet. So this is gluten free as well. Casein free, dairy free, wheat free, so that's a plus. Cause you know wheat can be uh, hard on our digestive system. So yeah, um, I have some Quaker oats. They have a gluten free. This is just the regular oats. Um, the quick one minute regular oats. Um, I haven't even opened this because oats still give me like a. Uh, Digestion, sorry, stop it. Digestion issues. Um, I'm thinking because of the leaky gut. So like basically anything I eat is kind of like affecting my system. So I, I picked these up. I think we're gonna make oatmeal cookies out of these. Um, but it is gluten free. So if you can uh, tolerate oats, and you like oatmeal, um, Quaker Oats has a gluten free option. Um, I have another one here. Um. Like the ready-made pack, this is gluten-free. This one is the maple and brown syrup. So this is, um, I think, eight packets. But with this one, um, the gluten-free kind, I think, you know how the regular kind has uh, uh oh, the variety pack. This is just one flavor. So if you want the one in the pack, you have to pick up a couple of different flavors if you want them because they sell it all the same flavor. Um, I have some chili, <laughs> some all natural chili with beans, um, just a healthier option than the other chili. Um, so I picked that one up. It's just plain stuff, water, beef, beans, 
tomato paste, cornstarch, salt, chili pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, cumin, and oregano. So, how do you pronounce this? Betsy, put that down. So, this is the all natural chili. I think this is $1.99. So, if you want some chili, we make chili dogs out of this. So, I picked this kind up just to have a, um, a cleaner version of canned chili without all the added stuff in it. Um, I'm sorry, I'm reaching over here on my cabinet. This is the pasta I was talking about. The gluten-free pasta. Um, hold on, guys. Hey! Stop. <laughs> so this is Barella. Um, a brand I'm sure we're all familiar hey. with. They do have gluten-free options. Hey. This is their hey. elbow macaroni. Um, this is another Barella. Hey. This is the gluten-free hey. spaghetti. Hey. And I've made some of this. Um, it's slightly different, but it'll do. If you really just want to cut gluten out your uh, diet and you can tolerate corn and rice somewhat. I don't have this often, but like when you want some spaghetti, some pasta, this is a good choice. Um, I have Dakota Growers Gluten-Free Organic uh, Penne. I like the penne um, for my pasta sometimes. Just when I'm feeling like I want to have pasta, I'll make this with some tomato sauce and sprinkle a little bit of cheese. That's it. On it just when I'm craving something. Uh, I have some pancake mix. This is King Arthur's gluten free pancake mix. I didn't really care for this. I uh, bought this a while back, but um, I think it was like kind of too sweet for me. That's why I didn't really care for it. But if you want to try it out, here it is. Um, I have some 365 from Whole Foods, the instant mashed potatoes. This is um, not organic or gluten. This is just like mashed potatoes, just a healthier version without all the added stuff in it. It says it, uh-oh, let me see. I'm sorry, I'm dropping stuff. It says it's just a dehydrated potato, that's all. Just dehydrated potato. And this is 365 uh, Whole Foods brand. So this is pretty affordable. The 365 brand at Whole Foods. Because y'all know Whole Foods can be uh, pretty expensive. Um, I have some maple syrup. I started eating maple syrup a while back. This is expensive, guys. This is like um, $19 and up. The cheapest may be like $15. I believe, um, and I usually get some from Whole Foods, but I can't remember. This is maple syrup, real maple syrup, uh, grade A, amber, rich taste. Uh, this is Uncle Luke's, 100% um, pure. I started using maple syrup instead of like Ancha Mama, those syrups with all the sugar and added things in it. But you do have to pay a hefty, a hefty price for this. Um, I'm not sure where I got this from though. Uh, this is the 32 4 ounce. Um, I wonder. I'm not sure, guys. But if you want a maple syrup owl at a store, you may uh, run into this. I'm not sure which store it was. Um, but I like the. This is pretty good. I usually get one from uh, Whole Foods, and I'm not even sure which brand. But I find a lot of them is not the same like some of them is too light even though it, it says dark it's too light but this one is uh similar to the one i was already getting i think this is like 18 dollars the starting price 18 and 19 yeah but it lasts pretty good me and the kids eat this uh you just have to make sure the kids use a little bit i have to catch my daughter from just pouring stuff on her waffles so uh yeah it will last you a, a while though so if you go ahead and invest in that it is a good investment because it does last a while um i have some brownie mix and this is uh get to the last few items this is brownie mix open nature it says it's gluten free i think we'll make this today i picked this up from jewels um I think Target may have this as well. It was a uh, two for six, two for five, something like that. So I got two of them. Um, it's gluten free. 
uh, no GMOs, no artificial flavors or colors. So that's good. Um, I have some bacon caramel, but I picked this up just to eat as regular candy. <laughs> I may, oh, I could put some of this in the brownie mix, huh? Uh, but this is, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but I'm sure y'all are familiar with this candy brand. This is a good brand of candy. And this is the premium baking chips. Uh, it's caramel. I got this instead of the chocolate just to minimize some of the things that may be in it. Um, and I don't think this is too bad. It's just sugar palm kernel and palm oil, whole milk powder, uh, non-fat dairy milk. Oh, it does have soy in it, soy latchin. Um, yeah, but I just got this to have something. I have a sweet tooth, so uh -oh. I got this to uh, satisfy the sweet tooth. Um, and I have some nuts. Let me know if you guys uh, are familiar with this. Um, these are the pomegranate vanilla favorite cashew glaze mix. I'm trying this. Jewel Osco has these. I'm just starting to see them, but I was going to get some today. Um, they have a tangerine one as well. This was the last one. So they are really popular. Um, so they run out of these. They have them up at the counter. So this was the last one. They had none of the, uh, tangerine ones that I was looking for but this is like a good snack on a go this is uh doesn't have that many things in it so yeah I picked those up just to have like in my work bag when I need something to snack on and this is uh the water I picked up I don't drink pop I'm not a pop drinker um so I just got some flavored water I do like juice but you know juice has sugar and everything in it so I just picked this up uh, I think you pronounce this lacrosse um, and some ice mountain. This one is passion fruit. It's sparkling water, natural sparkling water. And the ice mountain is uh, sparkling natural spring water. So this is the raspberry lime. I think I've had this before. It's pretty good. And I have a um, ice mountain in a refrigerator. Um, just one single bottle. I think it's lemon. The lemon aid kind. That's pretty good. So it's another sparkling water. But it's like reminiscent of lemon aid. So that's really good. So yeah guys. I just wanted to show you some of the things that I, I get. And I'm trying just to give you an idea of some stuff that you may like. Uh, this is pretty much just normal stuff that all of us may eat. But kind of like a healthier version of it so i wanted to share that with you guys because i know uh it may feel like feel like what can we eat like everything bothers us um gives us uh we have reactions to it um as far as the odor and the digestion of it so i wanted to show you guys some of these things and they're pretty affordable um they're not super expensive and if especially if it's just you like the granola like this stuff like that brownie mix these uh oats and stuff this lasts um a decent amount depends on how much you eat it but it should last you quite a bit so yeah if you guys want to look for some of this stuff or if you guys already eat some of this stuff let me know um and if you have some stuff that's really good and you know healthier than the normal stuff without all the added stuff let me know uh i'm up to trying new things so yeah i just wanted to share this little mini snack call i guess you can call it snack and breakfast haul so yeah i'll talk to you guys in the next video bye